What's up Capricorn? This is Jesse with 44 Astro with a general tarot ring for the full moon coming up on the 26th. It will be at 7.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be at 4 degrees Cancer. It will be in the 8th mansion of the moon, a wonderful mansion. I'll put a picture of it up. It is all about victory and accomplishing like your long-term goals. It's a very wonderful mansion of the moon. Um, it will be touching the sun in an opposition in Capricorn. So happy birthday, Capricorns. Um, which just means that you could be having to balance home and work life. But at the same time, it could be also be bringing something from the unconscious into the world. Manifest. It's going to be trying Saturn. So this is something that you can take a practical plan to accomplish. Maybe even something that was delayed, like a dream, like a long-term dream. It's a wonderful mansion, wonderful astrology right now. And then it's also got sextile Jupiter, which that's, you know, that's the gift. That's, that's the value you, get to, you can discover, like the benefit from all of it. Um, but you'll have to discover it, though, because it's a sextile. But it's very positive and very good. And so, like, overall, this is a wonderful mansion. And the astrology on the moon is very wonderful. And it's in the time of Capricorn right now. So it really be affecting y'all. Um, so ascendant Capricorns, you're talking the sixth or seventh house. So that's a house. Like, it could be a victory in your relationship. Like, maybe you get a new relationship. Or maybe you marry your loved one. Or something, something along those lines. But something in your personal relationships, you get some kind of victory. You know, in the sixth house, you're talking about personal health. You may uh, be de redefining your entire like health health regimen and like really start to like get in shape and feel good. Maybe you feel really good about that right now and, and you're doing it. Um, either way, it's a wonderful mansion. It's a wonderful time right now. And it's around Christmas, which is absolutely lovely. Um, it's all about time of giving and spending time with family and merrymaking. You know, we're celebrating the solstice here. Um, Jesus Jesus was not born in December. There's nothing to, um, they don't know when he was born. And the, the dates they can come up with, none of them are in December. Um, this is all about the days going from getting shorter to finally starting to get longer again. It's really the procession of the sun. And it's, you know, it was celebrated by the Romans called Saturnalia, which rules Capricorn. Because it was the dark, cold time of year. And they thought that Saturn was the last planet out because that's all they could see with the instruments that they had. They couldn't see Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. So they thought that was the furthest out. Now we, of course, know that. But still, it doesn't change the traditions that we have around Saturn being about sacrifice and you know working hard and giving of yourself. And that's kind of what this is all about. And it's, and it's a celebration of the days getting longer again, getting closer to where they can start planting crops again and like everything growing and blooming and being abundant. Ooh, right there. Bring love into the situation. It's always a good thing. Even if it's just through kindness and compassion. That's a type of love. You know, love has its different vibrations, right? It's got its manifestation in the carnal desire, which is, of course, sex, right? And then you have other, all kinds of different types of love from there. Like just, you know, giving of self, sacrifice for someone else, hold, holding like a higher ideal, willing to give of yourself so that someone else can can have and and even, and even though you're going to lose in the situation or at least not gain like altruism true altruism you know that's like the highest form of love like it's high manifestation but either way it's all love bring it into the situation and you can be anywhere on that level <laughs> anywhere on that spectrum right rather maybe you have to bring physicality into it maybe you just got to bring compassion and kindness most likely it's going to be compassion and kindness Ooh, right there <laughs> Victory of some kind. I mean, victory looks like a wish. Love. Unconscious. You got some. You might be feeling chained to something. All the other cards look amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you got a good reading, Capricorn. This is bring love into the situation. Maybe it's with um, a fire sign. Somebody that either you're interested in or maybe it's a family member. I mean, you're crowned by the lovers. This could definitely be a love reading, and it's saying bring love into the situation. So it's all about love. You even got people from your past. It could just be the people that you're visiting and spending time with, or even just your family. Bring love in the situation. Some kind of great victory. Like you you wished for something, and it was accomplished. I mean, victory is crossed by your wish. Your wish was to win, and you won. That's really nice, and it could be in love. right? Maybe you won someone's heart. Something like that. <laughs> And there is an unconscious influence, though, of feeling chained to a situation. Could be a relationship, but also could be like drinking or gambling or anything like that. Anything that you feel tied to, that like you feel like it could even be work. You could just feel tied to it, right? So there's an unconscious influence of that. But other than that, 
at what's actually happening is amazing. <laughs> Behind you, looks like you had some kind of offer, some kind of money offer, some kind of opportunity. Sent you on, maybe you got a new new career. And like, because of that, it could be a new relationship too. Or you just, your new job is making your family a lot happier because there's so much more to go around. Maybe you're buying a new house, all that kind of stuff because you have way more to spend, you know? Maybe you had, you had a really good year. I hope so. It's some kind of new journey though. And it's like a wish that you had about a victory. And this, this mansion of the moon is all about victory. And it's touching Capricorn and Cancer is its opposite where the moon's going to be. Um, some kind of offer came in recently in the past. Must have been a really good one. I mean, in your current environment, or in you, you right now, you're planning. Looks like you got some kind of plans for the future that you're trying to make. And it could be kind of what this is. You feel chained to whatever this is thing that you're planning, something that you're having to create. But it's important probably, whatever it is. And it may bring you a lot of prestige and like recognition. This is in your environment, balance and justice. I feel like my last Capricorn reading, the unconscious influence was justice. Maybe you had a victory in court. And this was like a big, hopefully it wasn't a divorce, but I don't see any heartbreak cards here. So whatever this is was beneficial. Maybe you got married. Maybe you recently got married. And that's what this is. You, now you're chained to each other. You've decided to chain yourself to each other. And it's not a bad thing because no other card even supports that here. Right? It could just be saying that you, that whoever this person is, you tied to not. Or maybe it's like you've been together for, for a while. You got this great opportunity. And because of you got all this great opportunity and you have all this abundance or whatever this is is coming your way, you're like, we should go ahead and marry, marry. You know what I mean? Maybe you already have kids together even. Or maybe you're deciding now we're going to have kids because I have everything we need. Everything's in place like I wanted it. I mean, and it could just be, and it could be you sued the crap out of somebody and got a lot of money <laughs> if that was your wish. But it's justice either way. It was in the unconscious last time I did a Capricorn which means it was just balance was the energy surrounding your entire situation, which is always good. But that's like you right now. So feeling balanced, feeling justice, maybe got married, maybe considering marriage now. Advice, make a final decision. Make whatever the situation is. Don't go back and forth. If, if you want it, do it. Stick with it. Don't worry about feeling chained to anything. This is all good. It's like, you know, happy celebration, spending time with people, the give and take in situations. Could be Christmas, seeing your family members, um, giving a lot to them. Man, I mean, if you have a lot, give a lot. It's, it's a wonderful thing. You know what I mean? It's saying bring love to the situation. And it looks like love is everywhere in this. I mean, you got bring love to the situation. You have the lovers, right? You have justice. I mean, maybe somebody's going to ask you to marry them. Or maybe you're about to meet someone that becomes... The one. That's a very positive reading. Very good. I mean, this is just an unconscious influence. Probably just some kind of worry that you're chained to. Or it's like, I'm tying the knot. We're getting married. We're having a family. We have everything in place to, to do that. I hope that's the case for you, Capricorn. Either way, that's all I have. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. I feel like the comments are really what get the video shared. I'm not for sure, but it seems like that from what I'm seeing on my channel. Um... But anyway, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just grateful that you're here for any amount of time. And I wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. It looks like everything's going good for Capricorn. Um, anyway, and I hope to see you here again. Thanks.